At this time, the concert choir will be performing their portion of the concert. I would like to start off with a joke. Audience, what's Bruno Mars's favorite vegetable trick? 24 carats magic. Our next song is a melody by the man himself, Bruno Mars, with all of his best hits. The soloists are freshmen Hayden McDowell and Casey Hudak.
So much nonsense into my conscience I'm thinking maybe I should get it out And I don't wanna sound redundant But I was wondering if there was something that you wanna know But never mind that, we should let it go Cause I don't wanna be a TV episode And all the bad thoughts, we just let them go Go, go, go! Now you might recognize our next piece, which is from the 1994 Disney classic Pocahontas, and this is the song Colors of the Wind.
now. This next song might sound very familiar to you, as it was in the movie Ellen Enchanted and Sherlock Gnomes. This is Elton John's Don't Go Breaking My Heart. It's my turn to. Welcome to my life. <laughs> it's my turn uh, for a joke now. What's a horse's favorite Beatles song? Uh, no. Hey, chewed. <laughs> now we have some Beatles classics <laughs> with a mashup of Let It Be and Hey Jude, featuring soloist, featured soloist in this song will be freshman Luke Holzer and senior Ian Kennedy. <laughs> so, so. Man, I just work here. Oh! 
At this point, we would like to invite Chamber, chamber Choir back to the stage. Our seniors will now be performing the song, Dreamer, Dreamer in Me, which will be performed at next week's graduation. <laughs> This is happy together. Turns out I've been here all along, but in my own little world. Um, so this next piece, um, I want to introduce myself, uh, Ian Kennedy. There he is. Ian Kennedy. <laughs> Just joined the program this year, and it feels like I've known him for as long as I felt the other seniors. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, <laughs> However, he is gonna go on into music education, um, whether that takes the, the form of band or choir, whoever knows, um, but I wanted to give him some classroom time, some experience to get in front of a group, you know, like way before you would ever student teach uh, or go through the curriculum at university. I wanted to just give him a shot. See, he's a brilliant pianist, way better than myself. Um, so I just wanted to give him that opportunity to get, what's it like to get in front of a group? What's it like to deal with the, the talking and the cell phones and the, uh, you guys don't do that, but. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So I wanted to give him the opportunity to rehearse a piece with them. So every day I, you know, I would say, all right, you're up first. And he would work with the students and, and 
you know, throughout this whole process, he was sort of like my mini student teacher. So um, I wanted to introduce and explain that situation. So I, I'm very proud of the work that he's done. And, you know, it's not easy to stand up and take a leadership role like this uh, in front of a group of your peers, let alone 70 some of them, right? Like I think that that takes uh, some confidence that maybe as an 18 year old we don't have, that it takes, you know, into our adulthood and even as adults. Are we that confident standing up here talking to if anyone wants to try, it's, it's right here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna let Mr. Kennedy uh, uh, direct and play uh, Happy Together. Coco, this is Remember Me with senior soloist Carly Follenkamp.
Next is a well-known song from a lesser-known musical entitled The Roar of the Grease Paint, The Smell of the Crowd. Here's the song Feeling Good with senior soloist Kaylin Kramer. Now, another joke. Y'all thought you were done. What does it mean if you see a billboard with a picture of a wall clock on it? A sign of the times. Which is the name of our next song by Harry Styles with senior soloist Mackenzie House.
my god. Okay, anyways. <laughs> as Floyd Pepper said, we am, is, are, and be, they whom, as are known as, the electric mayhem. Next is a medley from the 1979 classic, The Muppet Movie. Oh, wait. I think we're forgetting something. For real. I'll go get it. Intermission. <laughs> You know we couldn't forget Kermit. Okay. <laughs> so, this medley includes moving right along, going to go back there someday, and Rainbow Connection.
Now, concert choir will be coming back on stage to join us for our last song of the night. This is the worst part of the year. Uh, for me, for them, um, the presentation of the graduating members. Now, I've been here since 2015, so eight years. Um, I have to say that this class, now don't tell the other classes, <laughs> probably comes to mind the most. I, whether it's because they're current seniors or be, it's because of their personalities or their perseverance. Uh, when I think about the last six years, uh, I can't even start to list the number of memories that we've created together. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say I literally could not make a list. I look at each of these faces and I think, wow, they were in seventh grade choir. Um, so presenting them to you is bittersweet because I don't want to let them go. But I know that they're going on to bigger and better things. And in, in that tradition, I would like for each of them to come introduce themselves and let you guys and let us, more importantly, their choir family, know what their future plans are. Sue, so, seniors, come up. You can say your name. You can say your future plans. If you don't know, you don't know. That's OK. That's life, my dudes. So, but we would like to acknowledge them. So can we, let's give them a pre-round of applause. <laughs> that thing I said earlier about coming up to the microphone and speaking to you all, yeah. It's okay. They, no. they're, I've, I've got, I warmed them up for you, you're fine. You're fine, all right. So, our graduating seniors. Hi, my name is Destiny Anderson, and I plan on going to Wright State Lake University for a major in early childhood education. Hello, my name is Paige Hess. I plan on attending Wright State Lake campus in the fall to major in art education. Hi, my name is Megan Burke, and I'm planning to do the workforce. My name is Abigail Garrity, and I plan on going to Wright State Lake campus to be a teacher. Hi, my name is Marissa Frank. I plan on taking a gap year to try and figure everything out. Hi, I'm Selena Twinshaw, and I plan on going to Sinclair in Dayton for multimedia journalism. <laughs> I'm Haven Montague, and I'm going to Bluffton University to major, double major in elementary education and air invention specialist. I'm Ian Kennedy, and I plan on attending Miami University, uh, the one here in Ohio, not in Florida. And I plan to earn a degree in music education. Hi, I'm Ethan Enyer, and I'm going to look into being a tattoo artist. Hi, I'm Martin Schmidt. I plan to join the Air Force after I graduate. I'm Gavin Schock, and I plan on being a computer engineer. Hi, my name is Cruz Hernandez. I am attending Wright State to learn hardware engineering. Hi, I'm Colin Fokine. I'll be spending the next year at Wright State main campus to finish my mechanical engineering degree, and then I'll be going to law school. Hoosier, I plan on attending Wright State University to become an accountant and later start my own business. My name is Ashley Pennington. I will be attending Wright State Lake Campus and majoring in early childhood education. Woo!
my name is Mackenzie Houts. I'm going to be taking some extra time to make sure I know what I want to go into in college. Hi, my name is Carly Follenkamp, and I plan on attending Bowling Green State University to major in AYA English education and eventually become a school guidance counselor. Hello, my name is Caitlin Kramer, and I, I plan to attend Ohio Beauty Academy to become a licensed cosmetologist. Hi, I'm Ali Mock, and I'm going to be taking a gap year to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with life. <laughs> and I'll be attending Wright State and majoring in social work. My name is Ellis Garrett and I plan on continuing my career out at Walmart. Twenty of them. Twenty of them have stuck by singing with my groups for the last six years. I think that is fantastic. I don't know how they put up with it, honestly. You don't either. No. <laughs> you can save that. You can save that for later. I feel like I should say the first day that we ever had choir with you, you weren't there, like on the first day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't show up. That is very okay. <laughs> the first day they had choir with me, I wasn't there. I travel between buildings, so when the schedule's messed up with delays and the introductions at the beginning of the year, sometimes, some years, I don't get to meet my seventh graders the first day. I have to wait until the second day. So, I'm here now. That's all that matters.